Okay, welcome back to CEA with Mr. Seward, your favorite project lead away teacher. And we are going to be taking a look here at three activity 3.2.4. And this is beam analysis shortcuts. I'm going to show you two shortcuts to doing beam analysis, the stuff that we covered in 323 uh, beam analysis. So you're going to see some shortcuts here. First thing is I want to tell you right now there is a PowerPoint that goes with this and uh, what they do and talk about in this PowerPoint is the development of these formulas that we're going to be using in a couple minutes to do the beam analysis now. Uh, I really don't feel a burning need to go through this uh, PowerPoint with you. You can review it on your own if you like. I'll have it in the uh, student share folder under my name and CEA. Uh, so I'm going to go on to the next thing and show you the exact reason why I'm not too worried about uh, developing these formulas. They give them to us right here. One, two, three, and there is four formulas. Now, um, the first thing I want to mention to you is you can ignore beam deflection in all four of these. We're not worried about that, but we will be dealing with reaction and moments. And we've calculated uh, reactions and moments in the prior uh, unit. So uh, I'm going to go away from this now and let's get on to our uh, handout. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to set your hand up hand out up like I did here. You're going to have the uh, opening page of it first and we'll read through that in a minute. And then you're going to cut out these uh, diagrams. And I did I did two per page. That's going to be sufficient. So you see there's one, two, three, four, uh, five and six. And what you're going to notice about these diagrams is that these are the exact same beams as we did in exercise 323 beam analysis so you're going to uh, see some shortcuts we're going to do two different kinds of shortcuts and this first one it, this is the first of the uh, two different types of shortcuts so here we go activity 324 beam analysis shortcuts so it says as you perform calculations during activity 323 beam analysis, you may have noticed a pattern to the calculation of end reactions and the resulting shear and moment diagrams. In fact, mathematical formulas can be developed to represent the magnitude of the end reactions. Shear and bending moments are based on the type of loading being imposed on the beam. Engineers typically use these time-saving formulas in lieu of creating shear and moment diagrams. So procedure, we're going to use the following beam formulas to complete the activities below. All beams are 16 feet in length. All uniform loads are W equals 100 pound feet and all concentrated loads are P equals 500 pounds. We're going to assume that the letter A is equal to 4 feet. So we're going to use the beam formulas given for each of the diagrams to calculate the end reactions and maximum moment for each loading case. Then we're going to compare our answers to the end reactions and maximum moments that we found in activity 323 beam analysis. Note that for this activity the deflection formulas are provided for reference only. So we don't have to worry about deflection. That's that third formula down. Then the second thing we're going to do after we do this, this is the first shortcut right here. The second one is we're going to use a program called MD Solids to create what are called shear and bending moment diagrams. Remember to reset between the problems. You're going to print out the diagrams and attach them to this activity. You're going to compare shear and bending moment diagrams with the diagrams you created in activity 323 beam analysis. And for all our formulas, L equals length and that is going to be uh, according to what was told to us up here that is going to be 16 feet P is the concentrated load in pounds and 
that was P equals 500. The uniform load is given to us someplace here. That's in pound feet. The end reaction and bending moment in this is the A. This is going to be the distance from the left support, and that is going to be uh, four feet. Okay, and B is the distance from the support to end of load application shown in the diagram, and that depends on which what the number is for the diagrams. Um, I believe the uniform is a uh, hundred pounds here. So, okay, that's the end of that for rate this split second. I'm going to uh, be in the next video showing you the calculations over here.